this one, I'm gonna be fixing my 90cc Chainsaw Pocket Bikes horrible gas tank with some JB Weld. Here's the quick story on it. The unthinkable happened when I was testing N2O cartridges with this bike and one ricocheted off of the ground and back into my aluminum gas tank, cracking it instantly. Guys, I'm so pissed that I didn't just get this on camera, but check out what just happened. So I just did the first couple runs and I was going ahead and unscrewing the N2O kit. Look at the thing shot out at me and punctured my gas tank right here. It blew out at me. Like I was unscrewing it from the end right here and the thing shot out. Check this out. My gas is leaking out onto the pavement right here and it looks like I'm gonna be stuck replacing my freaking gas tank now. Look at that. A few weeks later, I decided to give flex tape an experimental try, but after just a couple weeks, the adhesive started to melt off of the tank from the brutal summer temps. After that, I went to aluminum brazing, which made the tank go from this bad to this bad. Moral of the story is never let Dylan patch any kind of hole because check out what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna... The aluminum tank just couldn't bear the high temps needed for the brazing to be applied. Since my pull starter is built into the gas tank, I couldn't just scrap it all together, so I ended up installing this plastic gas tank on the bike, literally just so I could ride the thing again. But the problems didn't end there. If you couldn't tell already, this is a very unconventional engine swap, so most of my motor mounts have failed over time. But today, I'm hopefully going to be fixing all of this mess that I've been mainly responsible for creating. So I ended up going with the hydro dip because the imperfections would have just shown so much if I went with a flat color. Here you can kind of barely tell, I mean right there obviously you can tell it's kind of bumpy but it's pretty hard to tell other than that if you didn't know it was patched. And honestly I like the hydro dip look, nothing against it. As you can see some of the other pieces on the bike are hydro dipped. And for the mounting I ended up just putting a bracket right here and attaching it right there because it was broken right there. So, and right here I just got rid of the zip ties and threw a bolt and nut in there, which I should have had done before, but this is just gonna help when I pull, start the engine. It's not gonna move around everywhere. And before it was so loose that the back tire couldn't even spin anymore because the sprocket right here just was not lining up with the tire anymore. It was just so out of whack. And on the bottom, I added one more little brace right here. This is just for when I'm, again, pull starting the engine. So it pulls up when I'm pull starting it. And if I need to switch this out, it's just some flexible material here. And it's 
it's attached right there to that bolt. If I need to switch this out for a solid mount, I can always do that, but um, this was just for precaution, I guess. I also replaced the pull card for a brand new still one because that also broke for that one day I got to ride it when I replaced the plastic tank. So nice new still one that should hold up. And next I'm gonna be fulfilling so many people's long time requests on this bike. I'm gonna be replacing the sprocket here. The Pokeball sprocket is just huge on this bike. This bike can reach up to 50 miles per hour. As you saw from that first clip, it's pretty quick. So having this tiny sprocket on here, I think we're going to reach some crazy speeds. So that'll be my next project, but we've got full on winter conditions here now. So um, I'm just setting all this up for some great videos for the next season. Oh, and most importantly, I've had some gas in here for a few days now and it's held up, no more leaks. So I shouldn't have to worry about this anymore. The JB Weld seems like it's going to hold up just fine as long as this part doesn't crack anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.